Tis the season for a clutter-free home. If you're hosting this holiday season and you are dreading having people come into your house to see the mess that you have, this video is for you. Hey y'all, I'm Kimberly with Simply Organizing Life. In this video, we're gonna talk about decluttering your home for the holiday season. And to make your holiday, especially if you are hosting, the least stressful we can. So it's coming up on the holidays and you will be hosting either a family meal, a big family meal, whether you're hosting for some a holiday that happens in December or Thanksgiving itself, or you're doing some crazy thing for Halloween here in just a few weeks. Something to think about is how does the environment aid in the holiday spirit? Say you are decorating your living room and your dining room with whatever the seasonal decor is and you have a whole bunch of boxes over in the corner. Is that aiding in the festivity of the season? Say those boxes are not because you just moved, not because you're hosting your family two days after you moved into your new home, but because you moved in three years ago and just haven't gotten to those stuff. Or they're boxes of very obviously a crockpot box and a Amazon box and a Chewy box and a fill in the blank type box. Is that really helping the holiday season? Maybe these are things that we need to think about prior to decorating. Maybe you want to consider watching one of my previous videos on how to declutter your home and focus on that area. Focus on the public spaces in your house, the ones that your family and friends will be in, the guest bathroom, the kitchen, because if you're anything like my family, we are gathering in that kitchen and hanging out and chatting, even if there's minimal stuff to prepare. I have been hanging out in the kitchen when nobody has been actively getting anything together to go put on the table. It's just how my family rolls. It's an easy place to hang out. Maybe you wanna make sure that the dining room is perfectly decorated. Maybe you want the living room to be perfectly decorated because that's where you'll be opening gifts or playing a game or whatever your holiday traditions are. If you have a whole bunch of clutter in that area or a whole bunch of stuff that does not need to be there, plus decorations, it can feel very overwhelming for you to be hosting in that area, for your guests to be gathered in a cramped, too much stuff space. So I definitely recommend starting with decluttering prior to decorating for any holiday. And then as you are pulling your stuff out to decorate the space with whichever holiday season it is, think about the decorations you have. Is this serving a nice purpose? Is this creating too much stuff in this space? I have been in very overwhelming decor places that have just created, instead of an ambiance, it's felt stressful. Is your home like that? Or are you just known as the crazy Christmas decorations, you go wild with everything. Maybe you're known for that and everybody accepts that of you. That's not the holiday season I personally want to experience, but maybe that works for you. But as you're pulling out the stuff, evaluate. Is it broken? Do you still enjoy it? Is it something that is current? Maybe you're trying to be trendy with your decor. Is it something that is timeless? Maybe it is something that is very outdated, but a family treasure. We had a reindeer growing up that was a stuffed animal and it was called Shivers and it had like bells in its antlers and it just sh it shook. And that was a family favorite that we had to make sure was out every year, even though we were definitely well past it being a cute little kid item. It, it had to be out. Maybe that you have something like that, but maybe eventually it is not as important to your family. Maybe it's time to let it go because not only are you decluttering your space that you're putting the decorations out and making it feel less overwhelming, but you'll be, it'll be easier to put the decorations away afterwards because you'll have less of them. You'll be able to create space. You'll be able to maybe consider buying one or two new things this holiday season. These are also the seasons where there's a lot of gift giving, whether it's hostess gifts or actual Christmas or Hanukkah gifts. It is a lot of gift exchange at this time of year. Are you giving gifts that nobody wants? Think about what you're gifting. Are you gifting things, knickknacks? 
Do the people appreciate knickknacks? If somebody were to gift me a whole bunch of knickknacks, I don't necessarily put them on display. I appreciate the gift, I appreciate the sentiment, somebody thought about me, but I don't necessarily keep the item. I may pass it on to somebody who would enjoy it more, donate it, etc. but I have very few knickknacks in my house. So maybe purchasing something like that for me, not a good idea. What if they are somebody that likes to have experiences? They want to be able to go to the zoo with their family or go to an amusement park with their family. Maybe they want to go get their nails done and they're, they always go to the same nail salon and you know that nail salon, get them a gift certificate. It's not impersonable because you know them, you know that they enjoy pampering themselves and you are allowing them to pamper themselves more. Maybe there's somebody that likes to go get a massage. Treat them to a massage. Give them an experience. Sometimes those can be some of the best gifts. But if you truly know that they need something and that they just don't want to ask for it, that's it is perfectly acceptable to get them a physical gift, but it's not necessarily the only option to do. Think about how much you're contributing to everybody else. Think about what you're telling other people you're interested in. Maybe you're at the season where you have too much stuff in your house and you need to figure out what the heck you're doing with everything. Maybe you tell your family then, instead of getting me physical gifts, please get me experiences. Please get me gift cards to the store that you always buy your groceries at or like a home store so you can buy different organizing products. Maybe those are the things that you need more. And you can tell your family, be like, thank you so much for this. I will buy this organizing product that I needed for this area. And a lot of people will be really excited to hear that you are working on your home and organizing it with the gift that they were able to provide for you. Now, you're always gonna get people that don't listen, are you one of those? When you get those gifts that are not what you asked for, you very graciously thank them for the gift. It is the thought that count. They thought of you. They didn't think of what you were, what you asked them for. They did their own thing, which is not wrong. They came up with their own gift, but it may not be what you want. So you're gonna either rehome it, give it to somebody else who can need it more, or you're gonna donate it. Don't feel guilty. It's the act of gift giving and being a gracious receiver, appreciating that they thought of you. It is not the gift itself. It can be part of it if it's something you wanted, but it is not all about the gift itself. It is about the thought behind it and being grateful that they thought of you. That is the important part. Now I'm gonna get off my soapbox a little bit and we're gonna talk about organizing hosting essentials. Maybe you have certain platters you use only at the holiday time because it is for the turkey. Do you have a specific place for that? Do you just leave that helter skelter in your kitchen in general and it is in your way every week when you go to make Sunday dinner? Is it in the way every time you go to meal prep? Maybe now is the time to think about setting one space aside for all of your hosting essentials. The one cabinet that is super hard to reach, that is above the refrigerator or above the stove, that unless you're tall, which I'm not blessed to be tall, you can easily reach. For me, I would need a step stool and that would be a perfect place for it. I have a whole cabinet in my kitchen that I sit there and I put all the pieces in. Maybe your family has decided we are gonna keep it easy and try to minimize the amount of dishes we have and we are using paper plates. Do you have those already? You need to go to a bulk store and purchase them? Are you all set there? Maybe now is the time to start thinking about making sure you have those hostessing items that you need. Do you have enough silverware for the family, whether it's disposable or real? Do you have enough plates and napkins and cups? Now is the time to start accumulating that stuff. Not two days before the holiday, now. And that leads to my next point, cleaning up after hosting. Are you doing a whole bunch of dishes? I mean, that's fine, but do you have appropriate amount of dishwasher detergent? Do you have a whole bunch of clean towels to lay everything out and dry everything on? Do you have a certain person that usually does the cooking cleanup? Does somebody else do the, the dishes cleanup? Who typically takes home leftovers? Do you have things to put leftovers in for your family and loved ones? Do you have stuff for your own stuff? So thinking about not only the party and leading up to the party and hosting and all the, the family event, but the next step of cleaning up afterwards. Do you have plenty of trash bags if you're doing a whole bunch of gifts? Do you have space 
in your trash can? Did you plan ahead that you got a whole bunch of trash out and it was made sure that it went out that week? Do you have room? Start thinking about those things. Think through the actual holiday itself. I do have a little planner to help you prepare for your Thanksgiving meal and for your Christmas holiday. I will link those below. Maybe those will be helpful for you as well. I'm hoping you found some of these organizing and planning tips and things to think about before the holiday season really gets going and how to keep yourself decluttered and organized throughout this helpful. If you did find it helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button below. That way YouTube knows that this video is helpful and will get it out to more people. Because as always, this channel's goal is to help you create simple, optimized systems for your everyday life. Bye now.